Good morning. Why do Christians quench the Spirit? Today we're at 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 19 in our devotionals, and this is just, this is a short one. Here's what the verse says. Do not quench the Spirit. So why is it? Why do Christians, why do some Christians quench the Spirit? Christians quench the Spirit because He, the Holy Spirit, He, he prompts us to make changes in our life. And changes make us uncomfortable. And the devil comes along and he, he whispers into our ear and he says, you don't need to make changes. Just stay with the plan. And the devil has a plan. It's a plan of distraction, busyness. Uh, people are just so stressed out. Their hair stands up. They're so stressed out that uh, the devil's got them really running and they're afraid of the stuff coming in on this side and there's all this stress coming in on this side and they're just kind of running down this this chute. See, I don't have time to address this now. I don't have time to address this right now. I'll do it later. I'll do it next month. Maybe I'll do it later. But right now I just need to keep it going. You know, it's kind of like you've got, you've had a flat tire and you're driving the car. The car's on the spare and you don't have just don't have time to do anything and you're you're driving on that spare. You don't want to keep driving on the spare, but but at least it's running, and you're just kind of just barely making it. That's where a lot of people are at. They're so busy. They're so busy with life that they are just just running on fumes. They're running on empty. And so they just, when the Spirit comes and He has something new, something fresh, something important, and something that will bless me, something that will give me what I need to be stronger spiritually, to rise up above all this uh, life froth that's happening, the devil doesn't want, want that. And so he just tells me, just just keep on going through the gauntlet, keep running on the rat wheel, don't worry about it, you're going to be fine. The devil, when he's got us in that spot, when he's got us, you know, kind of rolling down the bowling alley toward the gutter, when he's got us going that way, he's a happy devil. And we don't want happy devil. We're satisfied with the religion we have, we're satisfied with the experience we have, only we're not. But... We know we've got a certain group of friends, a certain set of beliefs that we assent to. If the Spirit is leading us, we need to go by it. What would, what would the Christian story have been like if when the Holy Spirit prompted Jesus to go into the wilderness and to be tested and tempted by the devil? What if Jesus had said, no, nope, not up for that? So we need to be led by the Spirit, and Jesus is the example yet again. We need to be led by the Spirit in our life. Now, it's interesting to notice the other times that Paul mentions the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, in this very epistle, 1 Thessalonians. For example, chapter 1, verses 5 and 6, he's talking about the presence of the Holy Spirit, the joy that comes with the Holy Spirit, the power of God there with the Holy Spirit. In uh, chapter 4, verse 8, uh, just across the page, we see about God's plan for us. Verse 7 and 8, he doesn't call us to uncleanness, but to sanctification, to holiness. And the Holy Spirit is right there. In fact, whenever we see holiness, the Holy Spirit is usually plugged in right, right near there. Whenever we see the question of holiness, the Holy Spirit is usually plugged in right about there. So this is the context for this business about do not quench the Spirit. God wants us to have stronger resolve to receive the power and help and, and participate in the holiness He wants to give to us through His Holy Spirit. Quench not the Spirit. That's what He's talking about. So He's calling us up higher, and that's what we want to do is go up higher. The devil wants us on the rat wheel. So it sort of separates it into the two, the two pathways. We can go up higher, or we can keep on running on the rat wheel. See how that ends. Let's, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you today that it's your plan for us to be victorious. It's your plan to call us up higher. You have called us up higher, and you give us the very strong warning through your prophet, through Paul, do not quench the spirit. So, Lord, help us not to quench the Holy Spirit. Help us to come up higher. Help us to receive your blessings. Oh, Lord, thank you. you. This is such a rich blessing to have. We need it. And it's more important than barreling along, just barely surviving until we crash. Lord, help us to come up higher. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Thank you for your beautiful gift. May we not quench the Spirit. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So why do Christians quench the Spirit? We're frazzled out and busy. Let us not quench His Holy Spirit. Have a great day. God be with you.